welcome back or if you are new oh welcome my little clips as we're talking so for to for today's video we are going to be doing a very quick very simple very minimal <laughs> we'll see it is me beachy makeup look like makeup you, you you can wear to the beach you know if if you want to wear makeup to the beach you don't have to obviously if you haven't already hit subscribe down below Let's get into it, shall we? First things first, I have like done my every other step of my skincare routine up to this point. But you know, I'm gonna use some of the L'Oreal Revitalift moisturizer with SPF 30 in it because obviously it has SPF in it. I've misplaced my actual SPF and it's really upset me. So we're gonna double up on this. I say double up, I've just put on more than I normally would just to make sure we've got as much SPF on our face as possible right now because you know we're going to the beach sadly i am not sadly i've still got a day's work ahead now that that's on we're going to use some of the bondi sands lip balm with vitamin e tastes like coconut and i have to say i thoroughly enjoy next up we're going to use some of this ps sunset beam coconut primer water i don't know why i read the label every time i know what it is and we're going to give our face a little bit of a spritz mm -hmm. I am tasting coconut right now and I must smell like coconut because both lip balm and thing, the thing we just, the spray, the spritz, that thing, coconut. Next, we're going to use the L'Oreal bronzing drops. Face is still damp, but that's fine. I like to just make sure that there's nothing left in this because as you can see, the little thing itself is covered. So we're just going to use that. So we don't have any messes. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this over the face. It does look like we're putting on a lot, but obviously it blends out into like nothing. Take a brush and pop this everywhere. Now that we've got all that blended, I've got glitter all over my face. I'm just gonna move on. We're just gonna move on. I'm gonna use some concealer, the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm, to be precise. I'm gonna use a bit of this. Then we're just gonna do a few dots under the eye, a little bit in the T zone to make it look like we've got our life together and um it's that time of the month ladies so i've been blessed with this thing and this thing not as bad as it's as it's been in the past so we're just gonna we're gonna roll with it and we're gonna do around the nose just because i get a very red nose it's great around christmas time you know sporting the rudolph look but in the middle of summer it does give off cannot deal with the heat type of energy so blending with a brush by the way so we are just gonna cover it at this point, I'm going to blend it a little bit on top of the eyes just to sort of balance out the colours going on up there. Because many a vein is happening on those eyelids. Tap over the blemish. Now that we've got that all blended in, we're going to do the Glossier Glow Paint. I knew it was a different name than just blush. In the shade Bean. And we're going to just take a little bit, rub it between our two little fingers. And we're going to pop it here. Tap it here. Add it over the nose. Ugh very itchy face and i don't understand why am i allergic to something i'm gonna add a little bit more blush because it kind of just disappeared into nothing didn't it i'm used to using the rare beauty one where that one just you put a dot on your face you can cover your entire face with blush i like to get like the end of the eyebrow type of area don't know why i just like how it looks <laughs> done with that make sure there's no creasing under the eyes and over the eyes you know the drill grab a little bit of the rcma no color powder and a little brush i'm just gonna set my under eyes just because like i've said a million and one times i have an oily t-zone my face likes to slip and slide so we can set it in place i'm gonna use this in the t-zone also did i already say that hmm. oh well if we did we did if we didn't there you go now i'm gonna take some powder bronzer just because as i said before cream products tend to move about so i want to be sweat proof while I'm at the beach. You know, I don't want to be looking like I've just come out of the water when I haven't stepped foot in the water yet. I'm gonna go in with some of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronze on a very, very, very fluffy brush. I'm gonna pop this to the back of the face and on the forehead. I'm just gonna make sure we get the outsides of the face on the chin, because why not? I'm do a little bit over the center of the face by here. I'm gonna take this brush into the bronzer and we're gonna run this through the crease. I'm just 
diffuse it back here so it blends into the bronzer. A little bit under the eyes, just so it all blends together. We go off that bronzy look. I'm just going to curl the lashes. Has anybody ever curled their eyelashes too hard? It gives them a bit of a headache. I should probably not do that, but I'm going to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, the waterproof version, because we don't want it going anywhere. I give these a nice little coat. I want to keep them like quite light though, so I'm not going to put too much on. Now I'm going to fill in the brows with the Brow Sketch Brow Pencil from Primark in the shade Dark Brown. I'm just going to brush them through and then do my normal brows, which is a line under the front. And then sort out the arch and then brush it through with a spoolie to blend it all out. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the face and I'm going to use some of this dual highlighter. Take these two, add it here and up there. I can make them up to make that entire part of the face look very glowy. I'm going to take this brush into the same two colours, put it on the brow bone, and take it by here. Just because it, might, it gives like a nice little like sheen to the eyes without doing too much. Then I'm going to take this little pencil brush, this is a pencil brush, don't know. Same two colours, dot on the end of the nose, a bit up here, and then the inner corner. So very nice. I'm going to take a little angled brush like this into a brown eyeshadow dark brown i should add then i do like a tiny little line following the last lash on this eye and on this eye but i mean like we're not there yet so hold on and we're gonna just make this into a tiny little wing just to elongate the eye just a tad i'm just gonna quickly set the brows with the glossier boy brow I'm really all over the place today why am i like going back and forth i'm just gonna brush this through the brows and I'm just going to take this Lossy London freckle tint and we're going to go over that little freckle that I have up there. I have a freckle here, one here. And I'm going to go over the little freckles I have on my nose. I don't actually pinpoint each individual one, I just draw them on again. <laughs> then I'm going to add a few more just to here, just to balance it all out, I guess. And I'm just going to set all this in place with the same PS Sunset Green Coconut Primer Water. Wait for this to dry. And this is the finished makeup look. I think I stuck to the minimal side of things, right? I could be icing this back and being like, no, 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 <laughs> no, you did not. Just to top it all off, the fragrance I like to use when I am doing summer activities, like this is pretty much my summer scent, is the Daisy Mark Jacobs perfume. Mm. Dear, dear, dear. We're ready for the beach. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world and so much more thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video it really does mean a lot a lot a lot a lot i shall see you in the next one